So we got the new pump in. This was the sump pump, it just didn't have the pressure. So we took the uh, discharge hose mechanism off. We're gonna use this on the new pump. This is a 40 PSI, 120 volt um, diaphragm pump. It says it pumps, well, let me just bring you in close. Amarine, Amarine, whatever. Water system pump, there's the model number, all the good stuff. So there are a lot of these online, a lot of these on Amazon. I wanted something 40 PSI or higher. I wanted something that came with the plug, that way I didn't have to fiddle with building one. And uh, this should do the job. This is kind of nice because it has these quick connects on the side. So you pull these tabs back, you slide that in, and it just locks in place. So what we're going to do for this guy is on the discharge, I'm going to, I've got some couplings and fittings, I'm going to put the discharge hose on. For the inlet or the suction side, what we're going to do is take this 90 degree half inch PVC elbow. We're going to lock her in pointing straight down and then we are going to connect it to this PVC and we're going to hard pipe the suction line straight up from the bottom of the bucket, probably about an inch off the bottom and it's going to come right into the pump. We'll probably mount this pump to this board and then our manifold system will, will sit on here somewhere too. So everything will be on on the bucket, easy on and off, but should be fairly solid. So I'm, I'm going to get the plumbing on this done and then we'll test it. All right, so this is pretty much the whole thing in its entirety. Now we've got the parts plumbed on. I didn't show you that because that's boring. Pop the little 7 8 inch, eighths inch hole in this piece of plywood. That's just bigger than the OD of this half inch Schedule 40 PVC, so that'll slide right down. And what I want to do now is basically just run some fluid. Test these lines for leaks, uh, circulate some water, and uh, slowly come up and build pressure. So you can see that's going to sit right through here. I'm going to kind of have it off center a little bit so I can run the recirculation line back down into the bucket. Hopefully we don't bubble up too much. This is that same solution I tested the other day. I'm guessing that it's still fine to use once that foam kind of dies down. Okay. So valves open. Hopefully this check valve holds or I'm gonna get water all over the place. Good test for that too though. So I'm gonna run this back down to the bucket. All right, should be ready to fire up. Crush your fingers. All right, it's pumping. I'm going to close this because it's bubbling up already. I'm already at 20 PSI. Closing the valve. About 35. 40 PSI. part of it. I went ahead and shut it off. I do have one leak. The quick connections on the pump are good. This plastic fitting to this three quarter to quarter inch, or I'm sorry, half inch to quarter inch uh, coupler reducer, coupling reducer is uh, no good or needs tightened. So we got pressure, we got flow, we got prime, and we're dry other than this one spot. So I'm going to tighten this up and then we'll try to make some foam. Okay, we are fully assembled and ready to test. We have the airline brought in. We have hopefully got that leak on that elbow fixed. If we don't, that water should roll off back into the bucket. So I'm actually going to prop that just a little bit. 
to encourage some draining. Come on. Nope, don't want to use that. Where's my shims? I don't know where my shims are. Okay, we'll worry about that in a minute. So real quick, before we get started, from a safety standpoint, um, I know this is a marine grade pump, and there shouldn't be any possibility for electric shock, but just to play it safe, we're going to connect here to an extension cord that one is elevated from the ground. You don't want your connection sitting on the ground where water can pool, especially if you do have a leak. And two, this extension cord I have ran out outside and plugged into a GFCI receptacle on the exterior of the building. I don't have any GFCI plugs inside the garage, so, so if something bad does happen, it should trip that outlet and uh, maybe we shouldn't die. So first I'm gonna get some air going, then bring the water in. Uh, I'm gonna keep the air pretty low, maybe about 30 PSI. It's probably going to get loud because the compressor is probably going to kick on, so I might cut the audio here in a second. So I couldn't get my air pressure up any higher, and I remember the regulator on the tank is set to 40, and it wouldn't go higher than 40, so that's why. But my leak is completely fixed. I didn't drift a drop. I mentioned on the, early, on the video the other day, this leak, I tightened that up. This is gonna be a pretty clean operation other than what's going in this tank. Let's take a look at it. So, well, you can see how high the foam is. I think it's too wet. I think it needs more air. But I'm going to mark it with a pencil where it's at, and I'm going to let it sit for a couple hours, and I'll bring the air. Oh, you can't see it. Why didn't anybody say anything? So I'm going to leave it like that for a bit. Mark it. Uh, see how well it stands up or holds up over time. And then I'm gonna crank the air up and we'll try it again. But overall, I think we did it. Well, I think that's enough for this video. It's already getting pretty long. And I think we've got her, I think we've got her licked here. Uh, I'm not gonna do any fine tuning in this video. I'm just gonna fine tune on the fly when we hit it with that Portland. So I'm gonna shut it off here. If you have any questions about these parts, just let me know. I'll, give you more details but I think I went over everything already the foam still looks like foam just like when I squirted it in there about an hour ago I guess it's been 15 minutes ago so I think we're close I didn't even have the air compressor turned on earlier so that's probably not good we'll get that fixed I'm gonna empty these buckets and I'm gonna do my mixing of Portland and stuff I am doing the mixing the actual air creep for another channel so I'll link to that uh, once that's ready but that may be a week or two out so uh, thanks for watching